Breaking this morning, police say that eight people were shot in four separate shootings overnight across the city of Let's Houston. Let's get you the latest from overnight here in Houston. A violent night. Police investigating four scenes. A total of eight people shot. All four shootings happening over the course of just five hours. The latest outside a restaurant on Harrisburg in Edo. One person taken to the hospital there. The shooter still on the run. Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host. Doctor of common sense. I saw where on last night there were eight people shot uh, in four different incidents. And in one span, it was seven people shot in four hours. Now, you Negroes will have to do better in Houston because we need to outdo Chicago. And you letting Chicago outdo you. Sylvester Turner and these frauds on the police department keep harassing regular citizens and they keep allowing criminals out of jail. The DAs are letting criminals out of jail, and this is happening in every city. But Houston's trying to catch up with Chicago because we're saying we can't let them outdo us. And I mean, they don't even call Greens Point Greens Point anymore. They call it Guns Point because there's a shooting over there just about every night, if not two or three. Somebody was at a club or something over on Calvacade, Jew joint or whatever, and some man inappropriately touched a woman, evidently the fellow who was with her tried to defend her, and they started shooting. It's not safe to go out in public anymore because you're going to have to hurt somebody or you're going to get hurt. One of the two, we have a whole society now that's letting criminals out of jail. All of this could be stopped if you just stop these damn criminals from getting out of jail. It ain't very difficult. What gets me is that the police department Houston Police Department, Chicago Police Department, LAPD, they all get on TV acting like they're surprised on what's happening. Keep these niggas locked up. If you want to solve the problem, you got to keep niggas locked up. And when I say niggas, I'm talking about white niggas, black niggas, Latino niggas. When they start acting like niggas, because a nigga is somebody that don't know how to act. When you start acting like niggas, you got to keep them in jail. Don't try to sugarcoat it. Don't try to play nice with this. See, these socialists and these communists want to make all kinds of excuses. They need an opportunity. Lock their ass up and put them on a chain gang in freaking prison. They can have an opportunity there. Put them on a hall meal or something. Let them cook for the prisoners. But we don't need them out here in society because they're dangerous. And we're going to keep seeing these kind of crimes as long as you keep letting criminals out of jail. This ain't rocket scientists. You don't need Columbo. You don't need Huckle Poro to figure this out. Just keep criminals locked up. Is that so damn difficult? We're having a hard time. I mean, unless you're trying to break record. It seems to me these mayors, these police chiefs, these DAs are trying to break records on crime. And they want to keep you in prison. The same way they did with the phony lockdowns. The same way they did with the vaccination. The same way they do with every damn thing. Climate change. They keep pretending as if that's the problem. The problem is we won't keep criminals locked up, period. That's the only problem we got. If you can keep criminals locked up, we can reduce crime. You don't have to try to be complicated. You don't have to have a meeting. We don't need a committee meeting. And then you're bringing over more illegals to these countries, to this country, to your cities. These illegals are coming over, and now they're putting resources towards the illegals as opposed to putting police officers out here to lock up the damn criminals. I saw in New York where they're going to be cutting the police departments down some because they got to take care of another country's freaking citizens. Just understand how stupid that sounds. How would you feel or how would you, uh, you'd have felt as a child is your parents said, we like to feed you, but we can't feed you because we're too busy taking care of the children around the corner. So you have to starve to death. So in Chicago, in L.A., in Houston, in Florida, everywhere you look, they're taking care of illegals while the American people are suffering. And they're worrying about them suffering. They're not citizens, I'm sorry to say. We got to start looking out for the American citizens first because you're going to keep seeing crime like they're seeing in Houston. Houston is off the chart. And you got this sissy, this lover of men, Sylvester Turner, you got this, this, this queer bait getting on TV acting like he's doing a good job. And they got the nerve to want to have Sheila Jackson Lee and his buddy. Sheila Jackson Lee ain't done 
a damn thing in the 18th district. See, the problem is that we can't, it ain't that we can't solve the problems. The problem is the corrupt leaders we have in charge. We got too many corrupt DAs. We got too many corrupt politicians. And most of them are nothing but socialists and communists. All socialists and communists are scumbags. Period. Ain't no need to sugarcoat it. I agree with the president of Argentina. They're scumbags. They're parasites. Sylvester Turner is a parasite. Sheila Jackson is a parasite. Joe Biden is a parasite. Nancy Pelosi is a parasite. And a parasite needs something else to survive. And we got to get rid of the damn parasites. Because they're leech on to something. They've been leeching onto the taxpayers. And they keep just sucking us dry. Like a tick on a dog or something. Just sucking us dry. They want our money. Spend this, spend that. Keep printing money. Printing money is not going to start a poor problem. Just like if you start printing diplomas, it does not st uh, solve stupidity. And I'm sick of it. We can solve these crime problems. We can stop all these damn shootings and families suffering. If we had anybody who had any kind of moral compass, if we had a damn politicians who had some kind of moral compass, all these SOBs do is get on TV, pretending like they love us so much, pretending like they care about us. They don't give a damn about us. And it shows in all of their damn policies, period.